Clint, pretty tough finish to that game. Would have been nice to be celebrating a, a hat trick and a you know two nil series win. Yeah, definitely um, heartbreaking when we had a chance to win the series today. Um, to, you know, two nil up in the um, this series, been rain affected a few games and very disappointing result um, and one that so we wished it went the other way and obviously take the series win today. Personally, though, it must have been you know, somewhat nice to have the ball coming out well and not often you get a hat-trick, so you must have been pleased with that aspect. Yeah, I think the ball's been coming out quite well um, all winter. Um, it's quite up with the Champions Trophy, the way sort of things sort of happen, and unfortunately there we didn't win games cricket either. Um, and today, once again, it's just sort of a bit of luck was on my side, and, um, but at the end of the day, it doesn't mean too much when you don't take home the points. And that's what we're here for today, to win the series. But now we've got one more chance to bounce back on, on Monday in Southampton and, and make sure we do win the series 2-1. Can the team bounce back? Obviously, you know, you've played, showed some good form throughout this series and things haven't quite gone to plan um, with the washouts and whatnot, but the form's still there. Oh, of course. Uh, I think some great signs today. George Bailey, once again, batted beautifully. Um, like he has for Australia since he started. I think he averages over 50 now. And Adam Vogues looks in quite good nick, and obviously the top order made some good runs this trip as well. So I think the boys are ready to fire. And Mitchell Johnson, once again today, bowled with um, some great pace. And, and then we've got a mixture of sort of James Faulkner and Shane Watson uh, bowling beautifully as well. And also we saw Nathan Coulton Isle on debut today, what he's all about. And definitely some good signs for him for the future. Well, where did it go wrong today? Was it purely a case of probably being 20 or 30 short with the bat, or was it, you know, maybe not quite executing with the ball at the right moment? I think when you lose, um, I think it was 5-18 our last five weeks, um, give or take a few runs, and you're not going to win too many games in cricket when you have slumps uh, like that. And we sort of got off to a bit of a shaky start, losing a few early wickets, but the boys bounced back beautifully. The George Bailey and Vogue's building a partnership, and then. George and uh, Matthew Wade uh, batted beautifully towards the end. And we just didn't finish off, off our innings. Um, and all of a sudden, we put another 30 runs on our board, scoreboard, um, and then it's a different chase altogether. Um, so I think we can learn from that come Monday, and I'm sure we're ready to go and, and hit the ground running and to make sure we do win this series 2 1. Played at Sam T Southampton already during the limited over series, had a good win in the first T20 there. Is that you know take some confidence out of that and knowing that you know you know the ground and you probably know what the wicket might be like and now you've had a good look at England what you know you're comfortable with where what, what's ahead of you? Yeah, I think the boys are confident going to Southampton. Um, we saw an unbelievable result um, for us in the first 2020 and sort of started off this part of the tour um, in fine form and I think Aaron Finch has got some very fond memories um, of that ground in the first 2020. So hopefully continue that form and. Um, play all that on Monday and set us up nicely if we happen to bat first. It was unfortunate, but you know, uh, it looked like Sean Marsh might have twinged a bit of a hamstring there. Do you think he might be fit or do you think it's probably unlikely with the back-to-back -back games? Uh, I really couldn't tell you at the moment. Um, obviously, he sort of limped off the ground, which wasn't a great sign. Um, however, he's sort of in the room, sort of walking around at the moment. So I think that will be assessed over the next couple of days. And unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to talk to him yet. Um, but fingers crossed, because he's a pivotal part of our batting lineup. Um, We've seen him make some very good runs so far this tour, and he'd definitely be a massive loss uh, if he doesn't come up for Monday. However, saying that, we've got some very good reserve batters um, in the sheds as well with Philip Hughes, Glenn Maxwell, sort of come in and take his spot. So, uh, fingers crossed he's, he's right to go, but um, the side still goes on if he's not. And the morale in the dressing room is obviously, you know, probably quite low now, but that can turn around pretty quickly, can't it? You've got 24 hours or so to, to uh, have a think about things and then take that some positive um, things out of today's game into Southampton. Yeah, the boys are a bit flat, um, no doubt. Obviously, we had a massive opportunity today to take this series home and uh, unfortunately we couldn't deliver today. Um, but we'll sort of bounce back and come back and fight hard again on Monday. Uh, we've played some very nice creeds so far um, on this tour. Um, it's just another setback we've got. We're continuing to learn under uh, Darren Lehman. Um, he's been fantastic and I'm sure we'll have a chat about it tonight and then um, we'll put in plans in place to make sure that we're on the right end of the result or come Monday. And what like I keep saying, that we're here to win this series um, and to win on Monday, it's all we need to do. So the ball's in our court and it's, as long as we play our, bring our A game, then I'm sure we can take the series home 2-1.